The French poet uh, Pierre Ronsard wrote a Petrarchan carpe diem sonnet, Quand vous serez bien vieille, in 1578. Ronsard's attitude is characteristic of this most masculine genre. He says that Hélène should sleep with him now, before her beauty decays, because no one is going to want her when she's an old crone, and then she'll regret that she missed out on the hot sex that he's offering. <laughs> Gather ye rosebuds as ye may, as Robert Herrick said later. So I'm going to have a shot at the French. I'm embarrassed now that I see that Flora is here, who will actually know when I get it wrong. Um, and then I'm going to read Yeats's paraphrase. It really is a paraphrase. So here's Ronsard. Quand vous serez bien vieille, au soir à la chandelle, assise auprès du feu, dévidant tes filons, direz, chantant mes vers, en vous émerveillant, Ronsard me célébrait du temps que j'étais belle. Lors, vous n'aurez servante, voyante telle nouvelle, déjà sous la labeur, à demi sommeillant, qui, au bruit de mon nom, ne s'aille réveillant, bénissant votre nom de louange immortelle. Je serai sous la terre et fantôme sans eau. Par les ombres myrteux, je prendrai mon repos. Vous serez au foyer une vieille accroupie, regrettant mon amour et votre fier dédain. Vivez, si m'en croyez, n'attendez à demain. Cuyez dès aujourd'hui les roses de la vie. Now, Yeats really is paraphrasing. Yeats's French was not all that good. Um, and in fact, it's more a revision, his poem, When You Are Old. Uh, it's more a revision than a translation, because unlike Ronsard, I think, anyway, Yeats isn't a sexual bully. He dumps those coercive roses, and he loves his mistress's pilgrim soul, despite never getting to sleep with her beautiful body. He's more courtly, courtly than carpe diem. What he keeps is the celebration and the idea that his lover will read um, his poetry in her old age, which is a lovely thought. When you are old and gray and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love false or true? But one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and loved the sorrows of your changing face. And bending down beside the glowing bars, murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced upon the mountains overhead and hid his face amid a crowd of stars. <laughs>